we're going to tell you how to keep your money safe, or at least how we do it, as we travel the world full time. Stay tuned. Hi there, we're Chris and Steve from Eat, Walk, Learn. We're an early retired couple who left our corporate America jobs in May of 2021. We sold everything, including our home in Denver, Colorado, and all the things in it, plus our cars, just so that we could travel the world full time. Everything that was left, we put into our two carry-on suitcases so we can travel lightly around the world. Would you please take a moment to subscribe and like? We share our tips from our nomad life, take reposition cruises to get from continent to continent, and we enjoy gorgeous hikes in beautiful places around the world. We also try to eat vegan as often as we can. We hope you'll enjoy reading one of our latest books, including 50 Hikes in 50 States or our bestseller, Two Carry-Ons and a Plan. You can pick them up on Amazon next time you're there. Please follow us on social so you can join us every Sunday at 5 p.m. Eastern. Thank you so much for sharing our adventure with us. Where are we? We are in beautiful Boulder, Colorado. And, you know, it was uh, two years ago that we left Colorado. Yeah. So this is our first time back. And we actually is, circumnavigated the world. We, we <laughs> did. And it's great to be here in, uh, in Boulder and to talk to you about Money. money, so money, money. so as uh, full time travelers, uh, money is an issue, and money comes in a lot of different forms. It might be we'll have some visual aids here. <laughs> Maybe it's your your ATM card or your credit card. Uh, how about good old good old uh, cash? Uh, and all other valuables like you know. I think this is one of the most important things we have as full time travelers wow. as our passport. And I think the most important thing and the most valuable thing that I own is my cell phone. Would you rather have to replace your wallet or your cell phone? I. What would you? That's a tough question. That's a what great would you question. Do? Would you rather want to replace your wallet or your cell phone? Well, for me, uh, I, I, it would be very easy to replace my wallet. And this is a really good point. You say, what do you mean? How could, easy could it be? But uh, we're here to tell you about a little bit of our strategies of what we do to, uh, to keep our money safe, and particularly our, our cash and credit cards and, and debit cards. Yeah, we uh, have a, a patent pending, <laughs> patent pending system <laughs> that we call the triple wallet system. So we're going to tell you all about it. It's not patent pending. We're just kidding. But um, it's how... So, okay, so I'm going to say something, and Steve's going to go, what are you talking about? Because... He kind of thinks I use 50 cent words when I could use five cent words. But um, we're gonna, I believe you have an ecosystem when you travel, right? That's a, that's a $6 word. <laughs> so an ecosystem for me, this is your mobile ecosystem. This is your body and what's on your body and what's with you. So you've got your body, you've got your phone, you've got your wallet, you've got your backpack, and you've got your luggage. And some sort of variation yeah. of that. You might have big yeah. luggage or small luggage, big backpacks, little backpacks, whatever. You might have a money belt, whatever. This is your whole ecosystem of what's with you as you move throughout the world. Well, what's funny is that how valuable that becomes when that's everything you own <laughs> right. in the world. It's not like you're just on vacation and if you lose your suitcases, no problem. You get home and you, you've got more clothes to wear. Right, right. Um, yeah, so, so when, when, we t when we think about being safe as we travel... I mean, there's lots of things we could talk about with safety, but w today what we're going to just talk about is money, wallets, credit cards, and, stuff, and, and this triple wallet system that we use. Um, we believe that people are generally kind and nice, and they help you as, as you get around the world. I'm gonna, okay, I'm going to ask, I'm going to surprise Steve with another question. So we're not, <laughs> I mean, you may get robbed. We're, we're not going to talk about like that type of stuff and be, like how to keep yourself from being robbed or whatever. But let me ask you, Steve. Steve? Chris. Darling. <laughs> Sweetie. Um, let's say we're at home and we're living at home. And we're like regular regular oh. people living at home, right? And uh, you have some extra cash or a couple credit cards that you don't want to keep in your wallet because you, you, they're like extra storage stuff. Like, yeah. where are they? Where do you put them? Uh, they, uh, I'm trying to keep, I want to keep things safe, right? Is what you're yeah, saying? Yeah. So, where do so you put it's going to go in my underwear drawer. <laughs> How many of you said underwear drawer? Okay. Question number two. All right. You got a bunch of cash. Like yeah. you got a pile of, you know, grandma oh, yeah. gave you a bunch of cash. Nice. Where are you going to put the cash? What, uh, I, I don't know. I'm still same place, right? In, in my underwear drawer. Or in between your mattress. Oh, right? yeah. yeah. Right. Well, no, because everybody knows to look there. Right. So <laughs> the point that I'm trying to make is that thieves know where your stuff is. So you thinking that you can put your stuff someplace that a thief is not going to try to find it. 
I, I, I think thieves are pretty smart about that. So anyway, so this is not so much about trying not to be robbed. This, is, this video is about what happens when something happens and you need to get access to your money and your credit cards, or your security number. So we do what we call the three wallet system. So what that means is we technically have three wallets. Now I don't physically have a wallet. You know, I should have brought my, my, little, my little, we'll show you something here in a second. Anyway, <laughs> we have three wallets. And what we mean by a wallet is it's a, it's a, it's a set of information that we keep in our ecosystem in three different places. So what that set is, is an ID, an ATM card, and a credit card. So we each have three sets, and all three sets are different. And then the six sets are different. So we're gonna go into details about exactly what that looks like. So let's start with um, IDs. So what kind of IDs yeah. do we have with us? Yeah, so I so it showed you, uh, you know, my passport. Uh, it's pretty valuable if we're traveling internationally. Right, right. Yeah. And then, of course, we both have driver's license. We each have our own passports, obviously. We each have our own driver's license. Right. So some people have a driver's license, or they might have state IDs if they don't have a driver's license anymore. And then the third piece of ID, for me, I carry my insurance card. Um, I mean, it's not an official ID because I don't have another official ID, but an insurance card will show you, your dependence on there and show your relationship. So, you know, your insurance card will say you're the insurer yeah. and then your spouse is the dependent and maybe your children. And that's a way that you can show that you're related to somebody, especially if your last names are different. So um, other, some of our friends have uh, their global entry card that they use as a third ID. What do you use as a third ID? Uh, I have a uh, uh, birthmark on my <laughs> left thigh <laughs> that is so distinguishable. It looks kind of like Abraham Lincoln. <laughs> um, but, uh, <laughs> or, you know, or a library card or maybe your social security card. There may not be, you know, official picture photo IDs, but at least it's something that if you're in a bind, it might help identify yourself. Yeah. Now, I use it as an insurance card and in particularly, you know, we've just gone through a period with, you know, COVID of, you know, lockdowns, things like that, needing to get vaccinations, needing to prove your vaccinations. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's an important, uh, important piece of identification, I think. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, and, and, and so those are the three pieces of ID. Then we each have three ATM cards. Now, you may think that's redundant, but we're going to tell you a couple stories about ATM cards. The first, so we were in Chiang Mai uh, enjoying our day. And uh, what we, uh, what, and, and depending on what country you're in, some countries require that you spend more cash than you cash. have credit cards. So Thailand is one of these countries where yeah. uh, cash, is, uh, cash is king, so you have to spend a lot of cash. So we're frequently going to the ATM machine. Um, the, where we usually get cash first is at the ATM in the airport. A lot of people say, don't do that. It's more expensive. We have never found any incident ever that the ATM machine was more expensive than anywhere else So at the airport. So immediately we get off the plane, we get the, we get the cash, you know, and you always get big bills. And then we always go right over to the, you know, the snack bar and buy a bottle of water. So then we have broken down the big bills to small bills. And we have those small bills for when we leave the airport because you need them yeah. immediately for tips Tra or transit, transit or, or taxi bus drivers or, or whatever. Like yeah, yeah. So anyway, so we're going around our Chiang Mai, we're doing our thing, and we realize we need some cash. So I have my cash, of course, I have my ATM card with me. We, we both have Schwab cards. Uh, if you're not, if you don't know about Charles Schwab's ATM cards, they um, have no transaction fees and no ATM fees. So or they reimburse you at the end of the month for ATM fees. So you can use ATMs virtually free throughout the world. So anyway, you know, we go over, I punch in my number, and... I can't get any cash. They say, fraud, 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 fraud. Your card's been fraud. Your number doesn't work, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, you know, we have like two cents between yeah. the two of us. And I'm thinking, oh, my God. And Steve says. Well, I mean, well, I said, well, don't worry about it because I've got one right here. Right. So, so he had his with him. So I take out my ATM card. But, you know, a lot of times you just don't know. Right. And it you just says, you know, not available to process at this right. time. Right. And it spits your card out. We know people that we... It, it actually the ATM ate their card. It eats, eats your card, and you're like, okay, well, I don't, can't even try it someplace else. Right. So, so, so yes, we both have Schwab cards, but they're different. Uh, there's a different account numbers on them. So if my goes fraud, his still works. Right. We also have a two each. We each have two additional ATM cards at other banks, yeah. just in case yeah. Schwab, something happens with Schwab or whatever. So, um, and so... 
Those are our three ATM cards. And then we- Well, I just, I just want to kind of expand on that because I just think that's a basic strategy now is just to not rely on on one bank. And, you know, we've seen things in the news lately about, you know, um, banks Banks going under. under. I don't think that, and I'm not saying that that that's going to happen, but it's just a good idea. It just makes sense to kind of spread the risk around and to, you know, have your money in a number of different uh, places that's uh, easily available with, uh, with an ATM card. Yeah. Yeah. So, and the same that goes for credit cards. Um, what's your cup say, by the way? You know, we, we've been getting into these. We've been getting, you know, we're, we're, we're house sitting. We're, we're house, house sitting sit. with this wonderful dog and this wonderful cat. And uh, it's always fun to see what kind of you coffee cups we get. Like... Uh, no matter how hard life gets, at least you don't have ugly children. <laughs> there you go. Here's to good looking kids. <laughs> Cheers to good looking kids or pets. If you don't have kids, good looking pets. Um, <laughs> Anyway, credit cards. Same thing happens with credit cards. Uh, we've been in all kinds of situations yeah. where uh, either the card goes fraud or uh, we haven't lost any of our cards, but that happens too. Um, but Or they just don't work. Like we were in Japan and I was buying gifts. Japan's a good credit card uh, country. And we were buying some gifts to take home to our family here in the States. And I'm just, you know, I'm in a tourist area and I'm, you know, buying gifts and things and I go to one. Works no problem. Go to the, I, next, the shop right next door. Yeah. Exact Random. terminal, exact everything. All of a sudden, my card doesn't work. Yeah. And yeah. so I just pulled out know. another card. It was just, it, it, you just right. move on to the next card. Right. And, I, and if, you, if you're lucky enough to be able to use Apple Wallet or Google Wallet or something like that, um, those scenari- situations also happen. So make sure you're loading up your, your Apple ID or your Google card, your Google Pay with multiple cards as well so that if one doesn't work, the other one. Remember when we were in Europe last year and I had all those problems with Google Pay and I couldn't get anything to work and yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> you're, you're waving your phone and your phone, you know, uh, on the, the the card reader and it and it's not working. And I say, here's what I do, <laughs> and I put my card on the back of my phone and I <laughs> like here it, it works worked. like this. Yeah, yeah. So but it was frustrating because you know, one day my my Google Pay would work and the next day it wouldn't work. And 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 I talked to Chase, and I talked to Google, I talked to Google Pay. I mean, I talked to everybody and nobody could figure it out. So anyway, that's another video for another day. But the point is that and, and even your even your digital wallets can go w- wacko too. But I but I think that you you make a really important point is that it just it, it like that I and mean, you don't know it. You can't plan for it. Oh, remember so that time when we were in um, Seattle with the. Oh my God! So we were we were house sitting, and the owners uh, the the plan was we were going to take the owner's car to the airport, leave it in the in the airport parking lot. We were going to fly, and they were going to come in and get the car and leave. So we had loaded up the car, and I had just changed backpacks. And long story short, let's um, make it short. Yeah, <laughs> too late, just too long story. She locked her her purse. So we in had the to car. lock the key in the car for the owners because they were going to come back with their key anyway. We we unload the car. I lock the key in the car, I close the door, and of course, immediately, like a millisecond after the door locks, you know the word that came out of my mouth. I had locked my purse in the car, and in my purse was my passport and my my wallet. But because I already have my backpack and my suitcase, because back to that ecosystem, we've got the, the three sets. One of my sets is in my purse, one of my sets is in my backpack, and one of my sets is in my suitcase. Because I had the other sets in my backpack and my suitcase, I had the ID. Fortunately, it was a domestic flight. I had a, my driver's license was in my backpack. I could whip that out, and off we went on our flight. And then, our, then the homeowners actually mailed yeah, me my yeah. stuff. So just to, 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 so mine is a little bit different. I also have the same three, um, but I and I don't carry a wallet. I've never carried a wallet. I, they think they're they're big and uh, obnoxious. <laughs> I have usually in my front pocket of my pants. You know, we'll have, you know, an ID cash or credit card, uh, ATM card, you know, that kind of basic uh, set of, of, of things. But I also have, we'll have the same set of those things in my suitcase, kind of buried down in, you know, in the middle of my suitcase. Because thieves don't know then, it's going to be buried yeah, in, your, right. in your suitcase. Um, and then I get my trip, my third set is in my backpack. So I lock my backpack someplace, you know, no problem. And in fact, you know, because uh, Chris had those, those items, those particular items, of importance also on our person it didn't really matter it wasn't that crazy drastic we didn't have to call a locksmith or break a window of anything in the car it's just right. like all right well we'll get it we'll they'll, just have mail to us they'll ship it to us yeah. and we'll get it so we're going to share just a couple of tricks for you really quick that i use um, in relation to just money safety and so on 
So, the, you know, we, we do a lot of credit card hacking, which means we have a lot of credit cards in our ecosystem. And we don't necessarily, we make sure that we are appropriately having the right ones with us at the right time. So sometimes we need to have, you know, the good travel credit card. And sometimes we need to have the good dining credit card or whatever. So I put all of my credit cards in here. Wait, so. <laughs> those aren't breath mints? <laughs> They're not. This is my secret little, maybe a thief now, well now we're telling all the thieves in the world to look in the Altoid boxes, but I put my credit cards in my Altoid box. Now I know why you never offer me a breath mint. <laughs> <laughs> or why I always have bad breath is because all my breath mints are gone. <laughs> okay, the other thing is I'm going to show some pictures here of the skorts I wear. So a skort is a skirt with shorts uh, underneath them. And those shorts have pockets in them. So when we're like having a big tourist day, especially when we're in Europe or someplace where there's a lot of pickpocketing uh, historically, I'll wear a skort because I'll put my credit card and my phone in the pockets that are on the, my thighs and my hips. The skirt is then over it and nobody, you can't, you know, go up my, up my leg and into my pocket to get my stuff out of my pocket. Not. Yeah, unless you're my husband. Uh, you're not allowed to do that. So uh, anyway, so that's a nice safe way to keep money, your phone and your credit cards safe is in those squirt pockets. Yeah, so, yeah. and you know, I know a lot of people wear, wear uh, money belts and things. That's not my, uh, that those seem, that, that's not something I wanna do. Um, but I do find my squirts are very effective for, you know, tourist, tourist site days. Yeah, yeah, and I'm sure, you know, there's a lot of the, our viewers that, you know, have some tips and tricks. Uh, maybe you could comment on that below on some of the things uh, that, that you do. While you're at it, you could also subscribe mm -hmm. and uh, hit that uh, that bell for notifications. We appreciate that. And um, we're going to put a few things in the description. So uh, what we're going to put in there is the names of our backpacks that we use. We're going to do a, a video here shortly on our backpacks and our suitcases. A lot of people are asking about our backpacks. Um, also, I'll put a link in there for the skirts that I wear. I wear Skirt Sport, and they are a fabulous brand. I love them. And I'll put a link down there. I think if you use my link, you get like 15% off or something. But I have one more tip. Oh, one more tip. I, yeah, one more thing that I want to talk about. Because I also already said that my cell phone, I think, is the most valuable thing that I have with me. And certainly lots of things can happen to your cell phone in a blink of an eye. Everything from dropping it and breaking to it getting lost to it Where did you stolen. leave it in the taxi? I left it on the seat <laughs> in our taxi. But, um, but Thank God for Uber, because <laughs> then you can just you know, re -re -race yeah. it, retrace it to Uber and then... Call them up it, on the Uber and, they'll, and they re-deliver it to you. Um, but I carry a backup cell phone, and it's a little bit older model. It's a little bit smaller. I don't, you know, uh, you know. Anyways, um, it's a throwaway phone. At this yeah, point. but if you need a backup phone, if you lose your phone, if your phone breaks, and you need another phone, I've got a backup. And because you know, if you if you've got an iPhone or Google, whatever, you've got your accounts and your accounts are set up. It's super easy to transfer that to the new phone. Uh, if you need to, to switch phones. In fact, I'll test it once in a while. You know, I'll make sure that the battery is charged on this phone and I'll turn it on and make sure that, it, that, uh, that it's working. And uh, again, uh, peace of mind yeah. to have that backup phone. Yeah, and granted that backup phone's probably not something you're gonna use a long term, but it would yeah. get us out of trouble. If and, you, you know, and you can get new phones, you know, everywhere, at least everywhere that we've been, but if you needed yeah. a backup phone for a couple of days, and yeah. Just two, more t two more things I wanna talk about. Um, one is, so in, in relation to when you get your cash out of the ATM machine, I know some couples are kind of in the habit that one person carries the cash and one person, like, takes it. <laughs> when you get cash, you know, if you're going to get $100, let's say, give 50 to one person, 50 to the other person. So if one of you gets robbed, the other person, or, or the $50 or goes lost. missing, or you lose it, or whatever, or it gets yeah. spent, uh, the other person has the other $50. So that's just a nice safety issue there. And then also... Um, make sure you each solo have what you need. We were in Japan in the airport and Steve had to go get a SIM card for his phone. We've talked about SIM cards a lot. You can watch the video up here about how we come, uh, come to conclusions about SIM cards and eSIMs and so on. Anyway, we were in the airport. Steve's phone didn't work. My phone worked. He wanted to go get, an e or get, go get a SIM. So I, he said, I'm going to go over there. I'll come back. I'll meet you here. I'll meet you at the escalators. Off he went. So 20 minutes later, I'm thinking, where is he? Like, you know, and I Where I mean, was I? Because you were not at the escalator. <laughs> I was at the, uh, he was at the wrong escalator. <laughs> Maybe I was at the wrong escalator. Anyway, I couldn't call him because, of course, his phone wasn't working. I didn't because he didn't have the SIM card yet and whatever. And I couldn't, and all of a sudden, we were separate. 
And fortunately, he found yeah. me, and obviously, we were fine. But if you're you, you'll immediately you'll become separate like without a plan. Right. Because if you if you had a plan to go separate, you wouldn't be it, in the situation. Right. Yeah. So make sure you each have your own ability, your own ATM card, your own credit card, your own cash, in order to be able to to get you back together again. Yeah. Right. So how's your uh, your ecosystem? My ecosystem. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. Ecosystem. No. <laughs> That's bad. That's bad. Yeah. There are Norwegians everywhere that are moaning right now. <laughs> and everybody else, too. <laughs> anyway, we love you guys. Uh, check in with us next week. I think next week we'll, we'll, we'll redo our packing video, show you our new luggage and our new backpacks. Talk to you soon.